The Science Park in Bayamon just reopened after being closed for seven years. It's the biggest educational park in Puerto Rico and has a unique focus on Puerto Rican history, ecology, and scientific achievements. Hi everyone! Today we're going to the Parque de las Ciencias in Bayamon. This park actually opened in 1988 and Gabby remembers coming here as a kid and this park was closed for seven years after Hurricane Maria and they just reopened it. So we're super excited to take Vesper here to have a really fun time. El Parque de las Ciencias en Bayamón abrió sus puertas nuevamente. Acompáñenos a descubrirlo. Right now we're on the train exploring the park. This park is really huge. I can't believe how many things there are to do here. Este parque se enfoca específicamente en la historia y biodiversidad de Puerto Rico y las contribuciones científicas de los puertorriqueños. We just had a super fun train ride around the park. The park is so much bigger than I expected. It's huge. There's so much to see and do here. We're going to start in this building in the Instituto Multiverso. Let's see what this is. This is so pretty in here. This is beautiful. So all this equipment here is from the original Arecibo telescope. And Vesper really likes these little frogs. Now we're going to go in the Space Institute. So this place seems like really fun for bigger kids. They have this simulator thing here that looks really fun for bigger kids. So in this little area, we have some history of like space exploration and especially like famous Puerto Ricans that have been astronauts. So that's really cool. And this is a beautiful area. Okay, now we're gonna go into Hardin Semi. No idea what this is gonna be, let's see. So this area is fun, it has the history of the indigenous people of Puerto Rico. And it's fun because it has like these kind of interactive characters talking about the history. <laughs> So the science lab thing is by schedule, so you have to look at the schedule to do that. So now we're gonna go in the terrarium. So the reptile terrarium is really beautiful. It's really beautiful inside. You do have to wait um, to enter with a group because it can get too crowded. But they had this really cute bearded dragon at the front that they're letting the kids pet. And Vesper loved it. I think this is her favorite part so far. She kept saying, more lizard, more lizard. You think the turtle's butt? Now we're going into the Instituto Pequeños Exploradores. The star attraction of this is the hippo. Well, apparently, Tommy the hippopotamus is really famous. He was born in 1972, so he's older than us. And he came here in 1987. Wow, hippo. A Gen X hippo. really nice because you can walk inside it and like get really good views of the macaws and Vesper loves macaws. Vesper enjoyed getting to practice all the animal names she had learned in books and on TV.
city on this side of the park. It's really cute and it has old cars. And I think that the kids at some point should be able to go in the houses, but right now the houses are closed. So there's actually a sit-down restaurant at, the, at this end of the park called Hacienda Angelina. So we're gonna try it out because we're pretty hungry. This food is delicious. If you come to the park, definitely come over to this restaurant. It's delicious food and they have a lot of options. We would actually come back to the park just to eat the Ropa Vieja Arepas here again. You want one? Yeah? Other activities in the park include train rides, a variety of musical and educational shows, boat rentals on a pond that circles the park, a large playground, a petting zoo, shopping for adorable kids' toys, endless photo opportunities, and several quality dining options. Then you walked past me, and you saw me and smiled. We had a great day in Parque de las Ciencias in Bayamón. How amazing that this park has reopened finally after seven years. This is a great place to take kids of all ages. There's things for toddlers as well as, it seems like most of the activities are um, oriented more towards like school age kids. Um, but a lot of things for everyone of all ages, even adults, like right now they're having a concert of boleros, which are like traditional romantic songs. We just had a great day. There's so much to do. It's a huge area to walk around and run around. So if you want your kids to get tired out on the weekend, this is a great place to come. For us, the highlights were definitely the reptile terrarium. Vesper loves lizards and snakes. And they actually had a lizard that they were letting them pet and a turtle that was walking around. Um, and we also actually really loved the restaurant, Hacienda Angelina. It was absolutely delicious. It was really a treat. Anyway, we had a great day. Although something unfortunate that happened is that while we were taking a couple photos on the steps for the thumbnail, somebody stole our video camera. So that really stinks because we can't really afford to replace it right now. But things happen and it goes to show you have to be really, really careful. Which if you're a toddler parent, you know it's really hard to keep track of all your stuff and your kid at the same time because priority has to be keeping the kid alive. <laughs> But anyway, this is a wonderful place to visit if you're looking for something to do with your kids on the weekend. Um, it's pretty educational too, especially if you actually like, take the time to read what the exhibits say. And there's just a great variety for kids of all ages. Loving you has never felt more.